All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Valhelsia. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day, because I know I sure am. And today, guys, as you can see from behind me, I went ahead and built up a cool uh, base. Um, I think it's pretty cool looking. So let's go ahead and give it a look here. Yes. Uh, I have done a little bit of work off camera, as you can see. Uh, this does go around. It's a, it's a nice little starter home. It's got three levels on it. So let's go ahead and take a tour of it because it's really cool. So this is the main floor that you come into. It's uh, two and a half blocks tall. Um, is it me or do you seem to like hang up at the top a little bit more? Does that seem weird to anyone else? Anyway, um, so we go up here and this is where our bedroom is going to be. We have a nice balcony up here where we can look out and go, ooh, this is so pretty. And the phantoms can spawn and they can try to wreck our faces. Now, not 100% done with everything yet. I do want to go through and put the trap doors on the outsides of the wall. Maybe add in a few leaves around. I did get this designed from... I got this design from Wielder Dude Tutorials. He's a pretty big YouTuber. Uh, he's got a channel. I will leave a link to the video down in the description that inspired us. It's slightly different from his design, but it is uh, pretty much identical to his design. And the rain. Rain and nighttime. And look at all those mobs over there. They look like they want to have a party or something. Well, they're not invited to my house. All right, so here's our base here. As you can see, we are in our base. Here's the awesome river that we were in. Uh, we do have quite a bit of land here that I wasn't quite sure that I explored, but we have a bunch of sand over here that we can go get, and or that's snow. I think that actually might be snow. But down here, there's a village we ran by. I didn't even see this until I opened up the map recently. So I'm going to go ahead and make the trek at night, and we're going to run here and see if we can get some sugar cane, maybe kill some cows in the way, because we need to get into some Botania, and we need that to make the Lexington, what is this, the Lex Lexica Botania. We need a sapling and a book, so let's make our way over there right now. All right, it's actually getting a little bit hard to see. We're going to grab these bushes so we can take these back to our base, but I want to go ahead and kill some sheep while we're over here. Yeah, oh my gosh. Baby, baby zombie. It's good. We got the good armor on. Zombies are nothing now. Yes. Oh, we got a carrot too. All right, I think we got enough wool. Yep, we sure do. We can make a bed. Awesome. So we can get rid of this stupid knight and the phantom. Oh my gosh, what is going on? What are, a pike? What the heck was that? I got like stuck. Okay, so let's see. We're at the village here. Um, ooh, we got a stone cutter. We're gonna grab this guy. Alright, we got some berries. That's very good. Ah, yes, this is what we needed. We needed their food supply. We're gonna raid them. Because we are the good guys, right? Alright, pumpkins are good. Potato, that's mine. Cool, it's a cow. More pumpkins. Pumpkins allow us to make some really good food. If we take a bowl and a pumpkin here, we make this pumpkin soup and it's actually a very decent um early game a food source so we're gonna totally jump on that oh what is this a bounty board oh my lord melon sliced beetroot soup rewards 18 wheat seeds and two buckets that doesn't seem very good it's weird that most of these have double doors. Now, how do you get up to the second floor? Oh, look at this. There's stairs. And a chest filled with food and goodies. What are these seeds? Cucumbers. All right, we're definitely going to be growing some cucumbers. All right, what is in you over here? Oh, wow, this is a little cozy house. I like how that's done. That's pretty neat. Okay, maybe in here. Check this out. Oh, man, we got our first diamonds and obsidian. That's legit. Diamonds and the ice bucket challenge has been complete. Thank you, Mr. Village. Or Mr. Vill something. Thank you, Village. I'm going to take this bounty board with me. We're going to head on back home. I didn't see any sugar cane, unfortunately, which is a big bummer. Uh, but I am going to pick up this stuff. These cows or these wolves have been killing the stuff. Ooh, what's this over here? Looks like a bunch of pumpkins. That's because it is a bunch of pumpkins. All right, cool. I've been using this as a food source, and if you guys look up in the top right of the screen, you can tell that it's been a few days in this Minecraft world. Uh, we're gonna leave the rotten flesh. We're gonna pick up these. Those bushes are gonna be phenomenal because it'll allow us to continue. We don't need a spider eye, I think. 
and allow us to continue to just get better food. All right, so if I was sugar cane, I would go by the the water, right? Maybe we could head up over here. Might not be a bad idea. Okay, we're back at the river here. Uh, let's have a look. If we go like this. Mm, that's our seeds over there. We should see them. I think this is going to be a good bet. If we go by the house, I'm going to drop off the items we have, and then we're going to continue on. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. We're not... You can still see the house. It's, like, right over there. We have sugarcane. Very, very awesome. So now we can start up our sugarcane farm, which is going to be so helpful to make all of the stuff and things. Hopefully, I can find some more here real quick. Let's have a look. Mm, I don't see any more, so we're going to head on back to the base. Ooh, beehive. It's a panda bear. Hello, Mr. Panda Bear. How are you? Would you like some bamboo, Mr. Panda Bear? Here you go. Oh, it's so nice. Look at him. He's eating the panda. Or not eating the panda. He's eating the bamboo. That's so cute. Here you go. You got some more. Oh, we got a lime from our lime tree. Yes. Getting more food. All right. So that's why we set up the lime trees back here for food. We also got all of our bushes set up over here for even more food. It's legit. Okay. So now let's go on in. We're going to make up that book so that we can make the Lexica Botania. This guy here. What is this? Ooh, it's even better. Okay. So we need leather. We got our leather. We need some pepper. We got our pepper. Let's go ahead. We need to plant those. I'll do that later. All right, let's make up our book. This is our first book. Knowledge. Okay. And we need a sapling. Let's see if we can use a redwood sapling. That works. Okay. Lexica Botania. Very cool. Unlock progress. All right. So basics and mechanics. Welcome to Botania. Yes, that is good. Okay. Uh, Lexica Batania, we've made this. Correct. Mystical flowers. Okay, so these are the flowers we need to keep an eye out for when we're going. I did pick up a few of these because I'm pretty sure these are very useful coming up soon. Um, but I don't know. Yes, because they make the blue petals. Those are going to be very important. Uh, let's go ahead and make up a pedestal and mortar. Uh, that's going to be a bowl, a plank, and a stick. Whoa. That closing animation was legit. All right, so we got all the stuff for our pedestal and mortar. That's been made up. Now we can turn these into the floral dust. Now I should have a few of the flowers around, if I'm not mistaken. I don't want to use any of the white ones because I'm pretty sure those are very important. But we can use up these cyan. These are light blue, so we can use these. I thought these were cyan. Yeah, we can make the floral powder. Very cool. Okay, so we made some floral powder. All right, and then you can make the, combine this with bone meal, and we get floral fertilizer. Now, I have killed a few skeletons. I got a little bit of bone meal here. So let's go ahead and do this, and we're going to make up our first floral fertilizer. Now, let's go use it up front. Okay, so I think this is a good area for it. Let's just go ahead and plop it down. Sweet, so we got a pink flower. We got lime, and we got the gray one. Very cool. Now, we can turn these into the same. We can turn these back into the those very cool so the gray pedestals and the lime now we can put these up in here very cool we can combine those up as well okay so we've made these all right now what's next all right floral fertilizer but you can also use it with normal dye as well oh my gosh that makes it even easier pedestals yep make the pedestals into a block that's pretty neat you want to make them into a block a pedal apothecary we need to make one of these asap so we need the petals and them cobblestone. That's very, very simple to make. Okay, so I'm going to make up some more of the bone meal. All right, and we're going to get some more flowers. We're also going to plant the sugar cane so we can start growing while we're doing this, while we're out there. So in case we need paper in the future, we can get some. Place, place. So floral fertilizer, bam, bam, and a bam. Okay, very cool. Ooh, we even got another one of those. And then bam, bam. Okay, so check it out. We got the white one. Got the white one too. Very cool. Okay, so we need a little bit of cobblestone here. Now, there's a very good chance that I don't have any cobblestone because I have just smelted up a bunch of cobblestone to make this. So we might have to go ahead and break this cobblestone down. This kind of feels like a waste, but we did get some levels from it. Okay, so slabs are made up like so. We're going to take the red one, put it here. Bam, bam. And bam, we have our first petal apothecary. Very cool. So this does need a water bucket. Now, I wonder, it's raining outside. Will that allow us to... Fill this up with water? No, I don't think so. But we're close to a water source, so we should be A-OK. -okay. 
All right, so we've made the petal apothecary pure days. Now this is what we needed a lot of. Now we're gonna need living wick to be turned into that. How do we make it though? Okay, now I'm pretty sure that we can take those white flowers that we found. Okay, and turn these into this. Now we should be able to make two of those so we can make living wood and living stone. We should probably also think about making a bed so that we can get rid of this rain and get rid of the phantom spotted in it wrecking my face every night. All right, we got a bed made. Sweet. All right. Sweet. Whoa, we're having a weird dream. Now we need to add in one seed. Okay. So if we add in one seed. Oh, baby. We got ourselves a pure daisy. Very, very cool. So let's go ahead and grab some water over here again. We'll fill this bad boy back up. And we'll work on a second one. All right. Now we got two pure daisies. This is sick. Okay. So over here, let's go ahead and we're going to place one here. One, two, and actually, no. Let's place one here and here because we can take our stone like so. As you can see, it's got these cool particle effects going on. Now we need to grab some wood as well to get some living wood. Okay, now we got the wood. Oh, not there. We got the wood in. Very cool. Now we need to let these kind of just do their thing. All right, guys, so check it out. We got some living wood and some living rock here. Now, living rock can obviously be broken with a pickaxe. And it, I don't think it works with cobblestone. It has to work with normal smooth stone. And then living wood. I guess it can work with any type of oak or any type of wood log. But that is how you make those. Very cool. Now, we can make some really cool stuff in this with, with those two items. But let's go ahead and check out what we need to be making next. Wand of the forest. Now let's have a look here. Now it just takes two flowers and three of the living wood sticks. So there we go. Three of the sticks. All right, we're gonna have a, we're gonna go for a green one. Obviously, because we are super turtle, right? We need a green stick. We need a green wand of the forest. And plus, wand of the forest makes sense. To have it green because it's foresty. Okay, so black lotus. Uh, an elusive flower by the name of the Black Lotus Six. However, it is not known to grow or reproduce. There are no known sources of the lotus at this time. It is known, however, that each bloom contains a certain a contains a good deal of concentrated mana that can be released by dissolving inside a non-empty mana pool. Just throw it in, and we'll do. So basically, if you throw it into a mana pool, it will just dump into it. Flower pouch. Now, what do we need for a flower pouch? We need some wool and that. Now, how much wool do we actually have left? We only have two. Shoot. We need to go find some more sheepins. Okay, so wool is acquired. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a flower pouch. Just like that. Let's have a look here. Okay, cool. So, it will... You can put flowers in there, obviously. Let's give it a try. So, brown flower. The orange flower. Let's go ahead. Ah, Ah, very cool. So let's check out the lexica again. All right. And unlock progress. So what do we need then? Hey, I didn't need that one. Oh my gosh. Dang it, Lexica again. Okay, guys, that is the basics and mechanics of Botania. We're going to go ahead and get into generating flora in the next episode. So, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But, guys, it's been Super Turtle. And today we got into Botania. Whoa, we are too close and personal. We got a weird sound going on outside. What's going on? Oh, my Lord. How has this happened? We got some pillagers out there. Hmm. I guess we'll find out next episode what happens when I open these doors. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.